talking about my new talk show, Live with Carisha. We shoot live on Thursdays in Atlanta. It's amazing. What are you waiting for? Tap in. Know your opponent. One. Go when, when they go low, you go deep in the depths of hell. Okay, two. Okay, period. That's okay. <laughs> and the third thing, he bitch. Don't never let them get you. Always laugh when they come back, and then go back to uh, number two. Go to the depths of hell, bitch, when they return. Okay. All right. So, all right, so if I'm going to read somebody that's, tell me like a read. How do I start to read? Well, you got to look at that person first okay. and just, you know, and just, shit, some motherfucking hoes is a walking read in themselves. <laughs> like, bitch, your letters is all over your body. I ain't got too much to say. But here's the thing. You have to first be able to read yourself. In order for you to be an exceptional reader, you got to put, stand in that mirror and be able to read all the flaws about yourself. Because anything that they throw at you, you already said about yourself. That's, that's the key to that. Okay. I tell a motherfucker from the door, I'm fat. I got titties at the top, dick at the bottom. My name was Timothy. Bitch, I used to be a prostitute. I sold ass, dick, balls, every fucking thing. Bitch, I done been beat up. I done got fucked from the back, the side, and the front. Bitch, honey, so I got scratch marks under my titty, on the, in between my thighs, round the back of my ass, bitch. Sometimes I get gout in my foot. So when I give you all this, I was reading myself. So it ain't shit that you can fucking say. Now when I get on your mammy, bitch. You better be ready. You better be ready, cause see, you ain't saying the shit about your mammy that I say about mine. So is anything off limits with the read? No. Nothing. So you want to talk about the Mega Stallion and, uh, 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 Nicki Minaj? I mean... Let's do it. This is the way I feel right okay, here. Okay, right here we go. That. Okay, I personally feel that, you know, those two women are grown women. Mm -hmm. I think that Nicki Minaj is the queen of rap. Um, I think that uh, somewhere along the line, Meg did something that she felt that Nikki felt was uh, uh, disrespectful to her. And you know, they've been subliminally doing these things back and forth ever since. And then we just, it just reached its head and it popped. And I'm just on the sideline looking. Now I can't tell nobody they was wrong for talking about somebody's dead mama. Cause I'm gonna talk about your dead mama. I'm gonna talk about your dead children. I'm gonna, if we beef. Right. I don't give a fuck about you if we beefing. Right, nothing's off limits. That's, uh, ain't nothing off limits. Cause God gonna deal with both of us in the end. Cause bitch, I hope you saying some foul shit about me so I can keep going back and I can ping pong this shit with you. Mm. You know, I just wanna see how the battle, the battle rap goes. What about the, the creativity? Who do you think in your professional opinion had the better song? I really haven't had the opportunity to listen um, to either one of the songs, and I'm going to be honest, I haven't even really been online because I just closed on a $1.2 million house. Hey. 